In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on May 17, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. San Diego Padres vs. Philadelphia Phillies The Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres begin a three-game series on Tuesday at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. The Padres come in with a record of 22-13, placing them in a virtual tie with the Dodgers atop the National League West. The Phillies are second in the National League East at 17-18. The Phillies took four out of six from the Padres last season. This is their first game that these two have played against one another in 2022. San Diego is 17-8 in their last last 25 games overall and 8-3 in their last 11 road games while the over is 5-0 in their last 5 games overall. Philadelphia is 4-1 in their last 5 games overall and 1-4 in their last 5 home games while the over is 6-1 in their last 7 games overall. This is a great matchup between two exciting teams. The Phillies are only starting to look like the team that everyone expected them to be after a slow start. Don't be shocked if the Phillies and Braves start to gain ground on the Mets. After a great weekend in Los Angeles, winning 3 3 of 4, and a good week in Seattle, where they won 2 of 3. They return home, well-rested and confident. That said, their pitching has been brutal, and Neville, who has been decent, let one slip away on Sunday. So the Phillies have just gone out and won with their offense, which is among the best in baseball. More of the same here is I think they will tee off on Clevinger, who has struggled in his two starts. I get the case to be made for the Padres, but Clevinger didn't look all that good in his season debut last time out, and to be honest, He's a pitcher that I'm not sure why the Padres would trade for him in the first place, especially when you look at what they gave up in that deal. The Phillies have burned a hole in betters' pockets for much of the season, but they just took it to the Dodgers over the course of this past weekend. And I believe that they can take care of a Padres team that's had some inconsistencies as of late. The Philadelphia Phillies' money line is our full-game side pick. The Phillies haven't named a starter yet, but let's be honest, they don't have a lot of great options with a team ER over four and one of the worst bullpens in the league. That might get by against bad offensive teams, but it won't suffice against one of the best lineups in baseball the Padres. So, as they have done all season, they have relied on their ridiculously good offense, which they will do here against Clevinger, who has an ER of 5 in his two starts. If you like a lot of runs, you like this game. This one is a no-brainer. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Detroit Tigers vs. Tampa Bay Rays Detroit and Tampa Bay will both be looking for continued good form when they face off in the second game of their three-game series on Tuesday night. The Tigers had won three straight games coming into this series, while Tampa Bay had won three of its last four. The Tigers are 4-9 in their last 13 in Game 2 of a series and 4-10 in their last 14 versus a lefty starter. Detroit is 1-5 in their last six Tuesday games. Meanwhile, the Rays are 9-4 in their last 13 Tuesday games and 57 to 26 in their last 83 at home. Tampa is 46 to 22 in their last 68 in game two of a series. The Tigers are in their best form of the season entering Tuesday in the midst of a four game winning streak. However, they have been dreadful for most of 2022 and rank among the worst offensive teams in baseball. Look for an emerging ace in McClanahan to have no issues slicing through their lineup as he eyes another double digit strikeout performance. Tampa Bay will have their work cut out for them in the absence of Margaret and Lowe, but have a versatile offense with plenty of depth with Wander Franco, Randy Arizarena, and Jai Man Choi. Tampa Bay is 3-1 in McClanahan's last four starts and 10-4 in their last 14 at home against the Tigers. Look for them to muster enough off Breesk and the Detroit bullpen to get the job done. McClanahan has had a few bumps in the road this season, but overall he's done pretty well. Across his last two starts, McClanahan has 12.1 combined innings with two earned on six hits and three walks. As for Breesk, He's got five earned on nine hits and six walks in 11 innings over his last pair. I like both starters to do a decent job in this one, with the Rays powering out the win in the end.
The Tampa Bay Rays money line is our full game side pick. This is going to be the lowest MLB total of the day. Detroit has been atrocious at the plate this season, so it will be difficult for them to solve their issues against one of the top pitching staffs in baseball. McClanahan is off to an excellent start this season, throwing seven scoreless innings against a strong Angels lineup his last time out. Meanwhile, Reesk has not been intimidated through his first four starts in the big leagues. He has an advantage against a Tampa Bay lineup that has never faced him. Neither offense has impressed up to this point in the season with the Rays pacing substantially substantially below 2021 levels and the Tigers ranking at the bottom of the league in runs scored and home runs. This is an excellent matchup for McClanahan who will have no issues breezing through the light-hitting Tigers lineup. The absence of Lowe and Margot will hurt the Rays in the short term and definitely limits their offensive upside. Plus the under is 4-0-1 in both Tampa and Detroit's last five. Expect runs to be at a premium in this one. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Seattle Mariners vs. Toronto Blue Jays The Blue Jays host the Mariners in Game 2 of a three-game series on Tuesday night. Toronto took the first game, with Yusei Kikuchi putting together a solid outing and the bats getting to Seattle's bullpen to deliver the victory. The Mariners are just 16-20 on the season, but they are coming off a great series that saw them become the first team in baseball to win a series against the Mets in 2022. The Blue Jays win put them two games over .500 at 19-17, but they haven't been playing well overall lately as they have still dropped 9 of their last 13 games. Seattle is 5-2 in their last 7 Tuesday games and 3-9 in their last 12 road games. The over is 7-3-1 in Seattle's last 11 games. Toronto is 23-10 in their last 33 home games and 1-5 in their last 6 Tuesday games. The under is 7-3-1 in Toronto's last 11 Tuesday games. Seattle is 4-2 in these two teams' last 6 head-to-head -head meetings. This one is all about Logan Gilbert. He has been outstanding to begin 2022 and is backing it up in StatCast with a 79% fastball velocity. He still hasn't been able to get himself deep into ball games, but the Mariners have one of the best bullpens in baseball and he doesn't need to throw more than five or six innings to put his team in a position to win. While a matchup against the Blue Jays doesn't look ideal, it is actually a good spot for him as Toronto has been below average in all major offensive metrics thus far and their 28th best 7.1% walk rate should help Gilbert be more efficient and suffer less harm from the weakest area of his game. Berrios has been much more hittable in 2022 than he has at any other point in his career. And while it is likely he'll rediscover his form soon enough, until he proves that he has his stuff back, we can expect an offense like the Mariners to put up enough runs to make Gilbert's efforts stand up. While Toronto will likely start mashing at the plate at some point, it hasn't been a good stretch for this offense and the Blue Jays get a very tough challenge on Tuesday. And while Seattle hasn't played its best so far, this is a good pitching matchup for the Mariners to get a win. So the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full game side pick. These are two talented offenses showing signs of putting things together this week, and Jose Barrios has been hit hard this season. Through 34 innings, Barrios has allowed 42 hits and 22 runs, and he's been downright terrible in two starts this month. The Seattle Mariners will have their chances to get as close to this total themselves if those numbers continue. Gilbert will be tough, but the Mariners' bullpen is a little thin right now outside of a couple options at the back end due to so many important pitchers being unavailable. One important thing to note is that Toronto's offensive numbers have been hurt by playing the elite Yankees pitching staff for nearly a quarter of its schedule so far, and by Chet starting to heat up at least makes the top of the order very difficult to navigate. Seattle's underlying numbers suggest it will start plating more runs soon with the Mariners putting up a 113 WRC plus to rank fifth in the majors. Both bullpens are vulnerable, which will help these dangerous offenses tack on enough late to make this a high-scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.